Well again, I'll come to you with an update of the Czech DC9 project and today I'm gonna show you these. Uh, these are the engine pressure ratio indicators or the EPRs which only one of them is connected to to the Arduino and via the USB cable to the uh, computer uh, where is the dc 9 uh, Cool Sky add-on running in the Flight Simulator X uh, I've got two of them but as I said only one is connected so I don't need this one for the moment so I will show you only how the one that is connected into uh, the board is working uh, what I also done today, uh, I've been starting with some of the logic that these instruments uh, needs to uh, show correct values. For example, right now I see these instruments show like about 1.4 EPR and the one in the simulator shows 0 0.8. Actually this one is not correct because uh, as you can see uh, all the instruments are off and that's because the bus is not connected to the APU generators. So what that basically means uh, that the EPR motor does not have any spring so it naturally the needle goes back to somewhere here by its weight uh, and that is because uh, the rotor of the motor that is uh, that is rotating the needle is connected to the AC bus and it receives uh, 11 and a half volts 400 hertz uh, AC power so now when when the AC power is off it should it should look like this maybe or or like this that's the other one uh, so it goes somewhere low and what happens if I connect the uh, the left AC bus because th that's the left uh, left engine instrument. I click on it and look. Yep, we got 1.0 EPR right here. And if I disconnect it, disconnect the uh, AC bus from the APU, it will go down like this because there is no power in the rotor. So uh, even though the stators the stator coils which are three there are powered uh, from the receiver there's no current in the in the rotor and s this it should not show any value okay I connected it, it connected back to the bus C1 and uh, what I show now you see I have the uh, X tie to open so it's not connected actually uh, and if I uh, select the other bus and I turn off the uh, left one. Oops! And I got 0 0.8. This function is uh, this uh, behavior is not exactly correct because I'm measuring the left DC, not the AC bus. Uh, but uh, <coughs> it uh, it should it should work uh, some like that way. You know, if I look at the instruments in the aircraft. I've got the 0 0.8 here right now and 0 0.8 here and if I connect the left uh, bus back to uh, the APU I got 1.0 here and I got 1.0 here so that works pretty uh, as per the simulator is working uh, What what is uh, important that this is driven by the uh, current that is go into the rotor not by some giving some value uh, so the, 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 the instrument works naturally at, as it was designed uh, uh, so okay and uh, let's go to start the engine to show you how the gouge works when the engine is turning and and it's working so I go back to uh, the overhead panel you see I got <laughs> everything prepared to start the left engine so I the left, left, engine. left, uh, uh, left, uh, left starter and it will show nothing until uh, the bus is connected and uh, uh, the value on the left uh, uh, left each EPR gauge and the flight simulator shows some value. Initially it will stop at 1.03 uh, EPR 
I got some mathematical problems yet in uh, in the in the software uh, with which I drive these uh, this instrument and it may occur that w on the 103 it will go in right opposite direction but that's a mat mathematical problem uh, to count the, 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 the signs uh, the sine waves that goes into the three uh, stator coils but that is just the um, uh, that is just a matter of computing and, and some science ok I got uh, N2124 I think we are talking a little bit too long let's go to uh, put a fuel in it and still I get 1.0 nothing shown right now 1.0 so the EPR is 1.0 and it should rise to 1.0, 1.3 uh, once the bus connects to uh, the engine generator. Just right now, and you see I got something like 1.3. And you saw before uh, the, the generator connects, it first disconnects the APU, so the needle goes down a bit because there was no power in it then it swings back to 8 and then it goes back to 1.3 now showing more than 1 and this is exactly what I have here so the logic is working perfectly for me and if I start increase increase the power into the engine it will start raising and raising and it still shows perfectly the same now it's about 1.6 correction 1.06 uh, and I got 1.06 here if I can find it okay you cannot see it but there is 1.11 sorry 1.11 yes that's exactly what I have here and once we reach 1.40 uh, the not uh, the, the configuration uh, the takeoff configuration warning sound should start to yell to us that we have no flaps uh, and and etc. But still, I'm adding okay with the F2. I'm adding uh, trust to the engine. Nothing happens yet. Again, I get 1.32. I got 1.32 here, exactly. Okay, let's put some more. 140, and we start to be. We should hear some yelling. Uh, and I got 140 here as well. And put it back to idle, and it goes back to 1.3. Here we are. Uh, you see, I got this box set to 205, so. Um, and there is a problem that I don't have it connected to, to these levers, but okay, I try to put a 205 into the engine, so I got pressure ratio, pre pressure ratio of 205, which is quite normal for takeoff on a, on a, on a normal day, like 15 degrees Celsius. Okay, let's go adding trust, adding trust, adding trust, and now when we will reach 1.8, it will increase much more, much more radically, much more gradually. Okay, see, uh, just put one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. And three is much more quickly. And I've got here, right now, 205. I'll decrease a little bit. Okay, I'll set the bug here to 1 out of 5, so if I set it to 205, it should be right here. Okay, that there is a little difference, but uh, it's not that much, and I 
still can make some adjustments into the software that controls the coils. And okay, show time's almost over. Let's go back to idle. You see it almost following the cool sky uh, EPR gouge. And so <coughs> uh, that's it. Maybe uh, we'll turn off the engine right now and it should go back to zero and also there will be some jumpings tube, tube. when the power is switching back from somewhere to somewhere once more oh I got no power in the APU it so you see there is an error I don't know why the APU is not running but you see the instrument is off so <laughs> everything works as expected okay guys that's it for today from the Czech Cool Sky DC9 project and another instrument looks to be ready to be mounted back into its chassis and uh, wire to PCB switch it have to be prepared and uh, manufactured that's it goodbye